Hello, Shaky here, and welcome back to Upload Labs. We're going to take a look at some of the endgame content today, starting with servers. Servers have three basic ingredients to them. They have the server itself, which is under the world menu down here. They have the storage. And the last thing we need is the auto collector. Storage can be located anywhere on your board. It doesn't have to hook up to the server. It is just used for storing files, and then the server automatically grabs them from wherever the storage is located. We'll put the server over here and the auto collector here. And we'll just hook these up. The storage has a limit uh, on size here. We have a new menu on the bottom right of the screen here. Storage menu here, and this tells you what's in your storage. Okay, revenue from your server is based on what files you store. The storage has a limit. You can see in the top left corner, it's 1YB currently. That is upgradable, and the more you store, the more revenue you can make from it. All right, let's use our current ser our, our current upload setup to a baseline to see how much money we're making compared to the server. Right now we're just uploading AI game generated files straight to the uploader and we're making 23.3 AGA per second. Let's go ahead and take that off and just so we can compare it to the server and see what we're making on the server. So that is no, we're no longer making any income, we have zero income. Let's take the game generated files up to the storage here. So now our storage is full, 1YB of 1YB. We can see it right here on top left. But we are still uploading game files to this. These aren't going to do us any benefit until we increase our storage. We can increase our storage on the server menu over here. But we're going to leave it as the basic level storage for now just to compare income to income. So right now we are making, we could detach these and it won't matter. Or we can keep delivering them, but it's not going to do us any good. So I'm going to just stop delivering them for now. All right, so how do we make money from these? We have to hook up the upload speed to the server. Upload speed and take it right down to the server. And then we're going to set this money to be collected in an auto collector. So now we're making 12.2 AJ per second. So the same files we were uploading down here, we we're only making 12.2 AJ per second. That's probably because of my storage limit, but it's also, the servers are also a upload speed hog. They require tons of upload speed. We were maxed out here, we weren't, but now here, if to show you, I'm gonna overclock the network speed and it's gonna increase our income quite a bit. So that, that raises it up to 21.2 AJ per second. So if I upgrade my network speed, it would increase my income because the upload speed is not enough to handle these server files right now. So we're just kind of working with the current setup to see what we can max out on our current setup. So right now that would be 21.2 AJ per second. So right now it'd be more valuable to upload them direct, directly to the uploader and not use the server. But now if we look at the guidebook real quick, it says that revenue is calculated per unit of storage used, prioritizing high value content and small file sizes. So small file sizes seem like it matters. So the smaller the file size, the more we could store on the server, the more it would be worth supposedly. So let's try that. I have three compressors down here. We're going to hook up the game files to the compressors here. That is going to compress them three different times. And we'll send these. Let's get let's get, let's get rid of this server here. We're still making the money. So I deleted the server and we're still making 21.2 AJ per second. Because it's basically in the cloud, right? It's it still exists out there. And we're going to make money until I delete it from here. But it has to be deleted off the game board first. If you delete it from here first, it's just going to reappear if it's on the board somewhere. I'll show you that in a second. So that's the game file. Now we're making zero dollars per second. Let's get our storage, our storage back out here, and let's upload those compressed files to it. Same server setup as before, making 21.2 AJ. Now all of a sudden we're making 60 AJ per second from the compressed files. And again, our storage is maxed out, 1YB of 1YB. And to show you what I was telling you before, if I go to the server menu here, and I we can't even stop uploading these, it's maxed out. So I go to the server here and I, I try to delete this. It just reappears because it's already, it's on the board still, so it's just recreating it. So the only way to get rid of them is to delete the server, the storage first, and then delete it from the server menu. But, so the same files are now making a 60 AJ per second, which is way better than the 22 we were making before from uploading directly. And this number could be further increased the more we upgrade our network. Okay, taking this a step further, let's look at the guidebook one more time again real quick. It says high value content and small file sizes. Those are two different things. High value content is definitely my game file. That is the highest value file I have. But the small file sizes, that would be text, right? That's the smallest file I have. Game game so files are actually pretty large. So what we could do is we could upload some different files to this and see if it makes a difference. See if there's some medium, happy medium in between there that has file size and value to optimize how much value we can get out of our current server setup. So let's go ahead and delete this storage here. Bring our new storage back out and delete the serve the files from the server here. All right, so we're back to making zero per second. Let's go ahead and take these program files over here and let's send those into the compressor. We should be able to store more of these files in the same storage for the server because they're a smaller file size. So we should have enough of them now. Let's go ahead and upload them to the server or to the storage. And there you go, we're making 100 AJ per second. And again, this is limited by my network speed. If I upgrade my network speed, 
it would go quite a bit higher, I believe. But we're just trying to compare apples to apples right now. We can take these off. That's full again, 1YB. And we are currently making them 100 AJ per second. Pretty nice. So I guess the program files are worth more than the game files now. It's interesting. And there is another menu that we have unlocked down here, the the application points menu. I've got on, I've got nine points. We that's enough to unlock everything. And these basically take, you know, you can take like you can take a game into a program. You can make games into videos, and it basically downsizes, downgrades the game to a video, videos into sound. So I don't know why you would do that. Maybe text is worth more, like the research text is worth more than anything else. Maybe in endgame text is worth more than anything. We'll see what we find out. All right, so let's do this again. Let's delete our storage. Bring our storage back out. Go to the server menu here. Delete our program files from there. Back to making zero per second. And let's try the next one up the video files. These are AI generated video files into the compressor. That brings them down here and then we can upload them to the to the storage. Again, it instantly filled up our storage and we're still making 100 AJ per second. My assumption there is probably because they're probably worth a lot more than that, but we're probably limited by our network speed. I don't want to change our network speed quite yet because I want to compare everything to apples to apples. So we'll come back and check that again. But in, for the final example, let's let's upgrade. Let's upload text files to the compressed files. So let's get rid of this. I'll delete our server again. Let's delete our storage again, sorry. Bring our storage back out. Go to the server menu and delete our video files. All right, again, making zero per second. Let's go up all the way up to the top of the list here and grab text files, which are supposedly worth the least amount. That is right here, AI generated text files. We'll upload these down to the storage, or actually to the compressed files. Okay, now we're now making compressed text files, and we can grab these and take these up into the, our new storage. All right, so now we're only making 3.42 AJ per second, so quite a bit slower. But why is that? Our storage is not even close to full, right? You can see the menu right here, 1.1Z of 1YB. I have no idea what that is, but there's usually a red bar that fills up here as your storage gets full. Right now we can't even see the red bar, so that means we don't have barely any enough files in here to make a difference. My guess is if you fill this up with text files, it would be worth a ton of money, but I don't have the network speed or the processor speed to do that right now. We're processing them as fast as we can right now. There's a backlog here of 1.4 AA. So we'd have to wait a while and see what this uploads to, but my guess is it's gonna be worth a lot more than anything else. In middle end game stuff here, I guess you wanna optimize your setup, you know, probably play around with what files you're uploading to your storage to get the most bang for your buck. It's not always the game files. All right, one last test here before we move on. Let's grab our storage again, delete that, bring it back out, delete our text files from our server menu. And let's upload our video files again, and then upload our compressed video files to the storage again. That should be the 100 AJ per second. Yes, 100 AJ per second. Let's go ahead and upgrade our network speed and see if that if I was correct. If I upgrade our network speed, I only have enough money to do this once. Let's let's see if it increases our 100 AJ per second. Yes, we're up to 141 per second. I guess I'm gonna upgrade it one more time. 200 AJ per second. So definitely the more the smaller file sizes definitely need more uh, upload speed. Let's just. Test that one more time and put our game files, our highest value ones, back in there and see if those are maxed out. Another thing to keep in mind, even though it looks like my storage is empty here, if we go to the server menu, I still have the video files on here. So if I upload my game files to the server or to the storage, it shows them on this menu here, but it shows you, it shows them at zero per second. It's either because they're worth more or because they were uploaded first. I'm not really sure how it's doing the calculation. All right, so in order for it to take into account the game files, we have to delete the video files from here. There you go, instant replace them and we are now maxed out at 120 AJ per second. So it looks like compressed video files are, are more valuable than compressed game files. We could probably work our way up the list here and just see where the where the balance is because eventually like my text files aren't worth that much because I couldn't upload them fast enough. So at some point we're gonna reach a point where it changes over where we can't process the files through the compressors fast enough to make it worth our dollar. So we'll probably just work our way up the list here and find out which one's the most valuable. Okay, let's move on from servers. Let's go to the next final research unlock, which is the we have one down here. What is this? How did that get there? Network merging unlocks download and upload mergers, allowing both speeds to be combined into a single network. That sounds amazing. Let's grab that. I don't know when that got there. And then we have the last one up here, which is this one. Artificial general intelligence unlocks an AGI that can boost productivity based on its neuron count. So we'll see what that's all about. It's going to cost us 10 AD. We have 62. So we're good there. Let's buy that one. New research nodes available. Yeah, so we are maxed out on the tech tree now. Let's take a look at the AGI that we unlocked. There's a couple different things in that, the, under the network or the processor menu here. There's a distillator, we're gonna need that. And then there's, under the research menu here, there's an AGI core. Unlock that. So basically the distillator 
It says adds the distillator modifier and increases neuron yield when training by 2x. So we're going to want to put that before we train it. So that way when we train it, we get the 2x and then it'll come through here and it'll create double the amount of neurons. That requires some clock speed, however. We have some clock speed from over here for now. And that basically comes into here. And then we want to bring that file over into the trainer. And there we go. So now it is making 0.9 per second before it was making 0.4. So it more than doubled it. And I guess we could take these neurons off of here because we're not selling them right now because I'm, I'm using the all my upload speed for this server. And we can just take this down to here and it goes all the way into the AGI core here on the game neuron. And then we have some choices on the research menu here. We can provide a boost to AI power for research, hacking, or coding. Let's do the research for now just to try it out. So that goes over here. And that AI power goes from here into the research power. And then you can, right here, there's now a research boost on the data lab. So, but right now we need to hook up all the neurons to the AI core. So if we look at the guidebook again real quick, it says outputs AI power based on the lowest neuron count inserted. So right now the lowest neuron count in inputted is zero. So it's actually basically no. So you have to input all the all of them to get any kind of bonus. Let's get that hooked up real quick. I'm going to put a distillator in and a uh, hook it up to the AGI core for each one. So this one's already done. And come up to this one and do the same thing. I've already got this one distillator done, so we just got to hook up the... Okay, they're all hooked up now. We can see that as we go down the list here, they get slower and slower till we get to the game Narn, which is 0 0.09 per second. My guess is, is that's not fast enough to provide any kind of bonus. So we're just going to let that run for a while and see if it picks up in speed again as these trainers work. They learn and get faster. So the longer they're running, the faster they go. We also could use an increase in our uh, GPU speed here because it's going pretty slow, this red bar. This is a royal mess. I'm going to prestige pretty soon and make a nice clean setup of this. That's going to cost us 221 AJ. We have AL, so we should be good. Upgrade this a couple times. Uh, see if that made a difference. Yes, yeah, so our game not, our game neuron is now processing much faster, 3.2 per second instead of 0 0.09, so that's pretty nice. Let's see if that did anything down here. All right, we're going to let that run for a while. Our coding over here has been running for a long time, too. We haven't really touched it. We can take a look at the menus here. We have earned up some application and optimization points here. I think we're just going to go ahead and spend these. This reduces the virus scanner by half. Like, we don't really need any of these because let's just do them anyway. Let's start at the bottom, actually. So distillator, that's, that's going to cost us two. Let's grab that one. Let's grab the pre-analysis one that cuts it in half. Optimize. I think we're gonna, we'll probably have enough to buy all these. Oh, maybe not. Yes, we're out of optimization points now. Let's find there, and then we can go over to the the application points here, and we'll just do the same thing. Let's this enhances and c compresses files simultaneously, enhancing its value by two and reducing size by two. That's pretty awesome. Let's buy that. Makes games from programs and video files. Let's just buy all this stuff, and we'll play around and see what it does. This compiles text files into programs. That's pretty nice. So you can take a text and turn it into a program. Sounds pretty beneficial. Let's just buy all these. All right, so we are one to two points short of buying them all of them, but that's fine. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we'll take a look at this setup I got here, which is kind of my end game setup. There's still a lot of room for optimization and trying to get more stuff out of the system, but it's basically complete. So we'll take a look at it next episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.